Hey Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now you might be thinking, hey, pay attention, what's going on? Well, I'm just getting some inspiration because today I'm going to teach you how to make a magazine cover using Adobe Spark Post. Now, as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Spark apps individually, Spark page, post, and video. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. So to create your magazine, you can go here and press plus, and you could go to view all, for example, and have a look through some of these um, things here. Like for print, you've got poster, for example, that might be a good size for the start of a magazine over the front of a magazine. But actually, if I can just put magazine cover, you get all sorts of different options. So I'm gonna choose this one, and then I'm gonna edit this template. So I could double click this text, edit that if I want. Uh, I can edit the photos. Now, what I will show you on here is, if I go to layout, we're actually in a two square layout like this one here, okay? And, that, and I, that's one of the reasons why I chose this template. I wanted to show you something cool we can do with that. So let's get started. Now, on my, for my magazine cover, I've done it already. The title of my magazine is going to be Hoop uh, because my magazine is going to be all about basketball. Now, this uh, music section here, I can press this one here and just delete it. Uh, I can also change the font here as well just by having it selected and then go to, I might try this one. I like it. Now, one of the things I can do to resize it is just like pull at the ends here and I can do that and I'll do it on this side as well. That looks pretty nice. Now, uh, down the side here, we've got Melvin Braun, but I've actually decided that um, I'm gonna have a main interview and it's gonna be Michael Jordan. I'll paste it in there. Now you'll see that there's two things here. One, the text font is different, so I'm gonna actually change that to the same as the title. Uh, but what I don't like now is that it's kind of, got all these dotted lines and the text is a lot smaller than that. So I'm just gonna grab one of the ends move it up so it's roughly the same as the top one move this one so it's roughly the same as the bottom one two now let me show you about these icons these little dotted lines are actually three sets of icons click here and then we've got another one here and then we've got a set right in the middle here as well so you could select one you could replace icon and if you wanted to you can actually select a different style okay nice now if i use this little rotate icon here the, the red dotted lines appear when it's in the right place. Let me get rid of uh, this one and get rid of this one as well. And I'm going to align that with the start. Then I'm going to select it again and press duplicate. And I'm going to press duplicate again. So I want to get all of these onto the same kind of line. The dotted lines are helping me. If you're finding it difficult to line them all up, you can just use your arrows, like I said before. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm pressing shift down on my keyboard and selecting all three of them at the same time because I wanna pull them so that they match up to the text. Happy with that now, gonna leave that alone and move on to another section. Now it's actually got these little lines here that I wanna get rid of. And what you can quite clearly see here is that it's the same photograph, but there's a slightly different filter on this bottom one. Uh, and I'll show you here. If I turn it to no filters, then suddenly it's a bit different. And actually, there is a filter on the top here. It's a grayscale filter. So what you'll see here is it's kind of the same photo, but repeated twice. I can replace it. I can put something like basketball. And I really like this photo here. Now, I'm actually going to put it on the bottom as well. Now, I've got two versions of the same photo. Now, if I select the top one and scale, and then I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to put this basketball in there like he's putting it in the hoop. Maybe I'll just bring the scale down ever so slightly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bottom photo now. I'm going to move it until I've kind of got the same photo on both sides. Maybe I'll move this one and maybe just scale it up ever so slightly. Okay, I think we're there. So I've got two, the same photo, but now I've got the, the top half is one photo, the bottom half is another photo. So now I can start playing the filters and I could go to contrast, for example. You could keep shuffling it to see what you want. Or you could go to colorize. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Because we could go colorize on the top one and then on the bottom one, maybe I'll darken that one. Oh, nice. I'm, now we need to change these text boxes here. So my first feature I've decided is going to be about Digidom Dreams. I'm going to click that, double click it, oh, come on, put Digidom Dreams, and then here's my text, copy my paste in, or you can just type it out if you want to, 
Feature number two is UK street ball. Uh, street ball. Select all of mine, put it in. Decided enter our competition to win free tickets. That's the kind of thing you see on the front of a magazine. So I decided to put it in mine. You can do whatever you like in yours. You can uh, team profiles, whatever it is that you want. So feature three, let me show you. I can go in here. I can just put how to dunk. Select all of that text. Put my version in. I think it looks great. And then also you can change the box down here. Uh, mine is a UK magazine, so I'm going to change it to 8.99. And because my magazine is so successful we're actually on issue 99. pretty cool if you want to download it you just click download there it's going to download right at the bottom of your screen and then you can share it as well by clicking there click publish and then you can share that link with anyone you like and if you think you might struggle with the two images then all you have to do is just select one of the images press delete and then say delete cell you've got one image that you can do whatever you like with on the back cool <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans. Now, please do share your magazine covers with me using the hashtag DigiDom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience and give you a digital round of applause. Now, if you haven't subscribed to these videos already, why not? Seriously. Anyway, that's it for this video. And where am I going to see you next? Yeah, on the next DigiDom video. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.